Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Revise. Today we will be looking on Cabinet Secretariat. Now moving on to the question. First question, uh, the question is with reference to Cabinet Secretariat, which of the following statements is or are correct? So here the demand of the question is for correct statement. Now the first statement, it is the custodian of the rules related with the business of the government, allocation of business rule 1961 and transaction of business rule 1961. Second statement, the directorate of public grievances is an attached office under the secretariat. Third one, e Nivesh monitor and e platform for monitoring the status of disposal of applications of private entrepreneurs is an e governance initiative of the secretariat. And since it is asking the correct statement, we have to pick up the correct one. So let's have a quick revision about cabinet secretariat. Now, cabinet secretariat comes under the charge. It comes under the charge of prime minister. And the most important part, the what all are what all are the functions of the business of cabinet secretariat is that first and foremost it provides secretarial assistance to cabinet meetings or to the cabinet as well as to the various cabinet me, cabinet committees. Along with that, it also frames the rules of business. Now, regarding the rules of business, understand that there are two types of rules of business. The responsible or the business of the government is actually carried out through various ministries that comes under various ministers that is headed by several ministers. Now these ministries that is each ministry therefore will be having a set of specific rules or specific businesses and these businesses are allocated to them through the government of India allocation of business rule 1961 and these businesses how they are conducted the manner in which they are conducted this actually is governed through this government of India transaction of tra business rule 1961. In fact, it, this particular rule that is Government of India Transaction of Business Rules 1961 helps or ensures the procedure for disposal as well as for taking decisions in various ministries. So that exactly is the, uh, these are the two various kinds of uh, rules of business which are very important from your prelims point of view. Now understand one thing here, it is actually the cabinet secretary that is the custodian of these two business that is these two rules of business. That is allocation, Government of India, allocation of business rule 1961 as well as Government of India, transaction of business rule 1961. So this is actually, the cabinet secretary is actually the custodian of these two business rules. Apart from this, the cabinet meetings are conducted once in every week or if the situation demands, it will be conducting more than once in a week. And the various ministries or departments, they will be sending their proposals that has to be considered before the cabinet meetings as well as before the cabinet committees also to this particular cabinet uh, cabinet secretariat and along with that cabinet secretary, secretariat will also be assisting in decision makings by ensuring the an interministerial coordination by removing the by removing the various differences or the, by removing the various conflicts as well as evolving a consensus and this would be conducted through various standing as well as ad hoc committee of secretaries so this actually is conducted through this cabinet secretariat Apart from this, Cabinet Secretariat will also be monitoring the various decisions that has been taken and its implementation at the ground, ground level. And there are four, four important departments or there are four important offices that function under, under this particular Cabinet Secretariat. First is Directorate of Cap Public Grievances. Second, National Authority Chemical Weapons Convention. Third, Project Monitoring Group as well as the fourth one, Direct Benefit Transfer. So these four are, are the most important attached office or uh, or the office that comes under this particular cabinet secretariat and apart from this there are several e governance initiative of these the most prominent one are e samiksha e samiksha is actually a um, a project monitoring a, a project monitoring e governance initiative of cabinet secretariat e suvida is actually a project management system that has been uh, ha that has been brought forward by the cabinet secretariat as well as e nivesh we had discussed it is in the question itself so these actually are certain e-governance initiative which has been brought forward by the cabinet secretariat. So these are the most important part which you need to keep in mind as far as your prelims is concerned. Now coming back to the question, with reference to cabinet secretariat, which of the following statements is or are correct? First statement, it is a custodian of the rules related to the business with the business of the government, allocation of business rule 1961 and transaction of business rules 1961. So first statement is correct. Second one. The, the directorate of public grievances is an attached office under the secretariat. That also is correct, that is, it also comes under cabinet secretariat. The third one, e Nivesh monitor, which is an e platform for monitoring the status of disposal of applications 
of private entrepreneurs is an e-governance initiative of the secretary. That again is also a correct statement. We have looked into it. That is e-samiksha, e-suvida, e-nivesh, etc. A certain e-governance initiative that has been brought forward by the cabinet secretary. So obviously, since these three are answer are correct, in fact, the answer has to be D Delhi 1, 2 and 3. So that's it. Thank you.